What is up, everyone? My name is Mr. J, and today I am bringing you another Digi match. On the left, we have Alfredo, and he is playing Jespon, and on the right, I am playing Eximon. So, yes, we finally have some EX3 matches on the channel. Dude, I, it's because I had just gotten my BT10 cards, and then like EX3 came out, and I'm like, yo, what the f? But, you know. At first, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't planning to make Jasmine and then something about the deck. It's very controlling, right? So right away, I was like, oh, you know what? I should pick up the Xmon stuff. So I do have Madoki and a Davis in the back. He has his line. He does have a three and a four. It looks like he's missing. No, yeah. So he's definitely missing a champion because that Chimera Mon in the back is pretty desperate, I, I would say. Because you really want that level five, the Savory Hawkmon ability. But I'm going to go ahead. It seems like I don't have anything either. I'm going to promote the Madoki swing. Um, I think he does play like one to two memory boosts. But the Madoki here is not going to give me too much value. So it looks like I'm going to hard play the Wing German to pass turn. Give him, leave him to four. So if he does have like some way to swing in my unsuspended Digimon, I'll just evade. So here I'm hoping he'll make the error. Right? He's going to go into Jasmine X Antibody, X Antibody Effect. Either play the CL from the trash or a something from his hand. But yeah, I don't know. Um, like I've been wanting to play Beelzebub for the longest since it came out in EX2. It just hasn't come up, and like every like it feels like every month there's a there's a new set coming out. So I'm gonna. He's going to go into Jessmon GX. He will gain a memory off the Sister Mon CL. He can attack unsuspended Digimon, but I'm pretty sure I let him know. I was like, hey, if you swing into me, I'm just going to evade. Evade is actually really good. I know some people say that evade doesn't come up, but I'll, I'll, I'm telling you right now that evade skill, like the inheritable and him having it natively. Oh my god. It's so good. He hits a core German in the security, so core German comes out. Here, that means I could potentially, if I have the ground German, go into the ground German for three costs and then go into an Examon. But I don't think I have the Examon right now. Like, throughout this tournament, um, sometimes you're missing the level five, the blue level five. Sometimes you're missing the green level five. And then sometimes you're missing the Examon. But here, I'm going to Giga Death. So I'm going to suspend his CL. And then, since both of his Digimon are suspended, I'm just going to return them to the bottom of the deck. And yeah, Giga Death, I'll be honest with you, I, I kind of want to bump it up to two copies because Giga Death came up a lot, a lot this tournament. No one expects it. They they just expect like Mega Death. He's going to hard play the Hakman. Yes, I gave him his uh, a lot of memory. Um, he does have to search out his PCs. PCs. <laughs> Reese's PCs. He has to search out his pieces again, right? He's, he's a stack deck. I'm a stack deck too, but... And this was my first match playing um, with the Examon stuff because this was on Friday. Um, I got most of my Examon stuff on the day prior, so Thursday. And I was like, damn, dude, what do I play? I actually really wanted to play Shoutmon this tournament because I saw that list that topped the Shoutmon list. And I was like, oh, I think maybe it seems fun. I never like playing X when they like tier one. But now that Shoutmon has been severely handicapped, it seems like it would be fun. Swing with the Baby Domon. Baby Domon does die to Jessmon in security. And okay, so here go into Examon to go to zero. And then play the Ice Wall to pass over turn. And I told him, I was like, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Because I'm going to force you to swing and then you're going to pass your turn. Now he can't promote first and then swing. So he gets to choose. And I think he ends up swinging with the Solar Mon, yeah. Just in case you don't want to save your to, to, to die in security. So I'll, he'll swing. Ice Wall will go back to my turn. And then Davis will set me to the three. The Solar Mon does live though. It hits a Madoki in the security. It's not bad. Hatch the Baby Dolmon. Go into Siakomon. That is supposed to be a fourth Madoki Beta Mon, but I couldn't find my fourth Madoki. So I'm playing the Siako. Hit a master to disciple in security. But yeah, now I'm just being aggressive, to be honest. Go Cordramon in the security and then Mega Death. Oh, okay, okay. 
That makes sense because I was surprised that it was so aggressive. Because forcing his savior to swing at the start of his turn would help me out there because then I don't have to worry about him retaliating with a Jespon GX. Uh, Jespon. Jespon X or GX, I guess. He plays the Huckmon. Huckmon gets him a sister and a Huck. And there I let him know, I was like, hey, bro, I don't think he, uh, I don't think Huckmon trashes them, bro. But yeah, as you can tell so far into the match, um, the option cards have been helping me out a lot. I'm not playing Hammer Spark. I know Huang Zero suggested like the uh, Forbidden Trident never came up, dude. Like, thank God I took out the Forbidden Trident for uh, a third Break Tramon. Because Break Tramon low key is really good. So I'm going to swing on Suspend and then just swing for game. Yeah. Well, he has a blocker, but then swing for game. And then we're going to go to game two. So the thoughts on the X-Mon so far was like, okay, okay, you know what? It's, uh, the board control is great. Like, you, we didn't see an X-Mon there. So hopefully we'll see a game two. Go into the Corjumon that has Evade naturally, and that is for three costs. I do fix that. Uh -huh. So it's a three. Goes to one with his Savior Huck, which is a good thing. Savior Huck with the Bao Huckmon. And then he's going to hard play the CL. The CL will gain him a memory next turn when he digivolves up into his savior. If he promotes, if he chooses to promote. So I think you can't see it because my face is covering my hand, but I'm, I'm thinking about playing the Davis. Okay, promote and then play the Davis. Just because the Korjaman does have evade, I do feel a little bit safer. And then Davis here is going to net me two, two Digimon. I really like Davis in this deck. I have him at four copies. Just because the dude is so good. Sets you to three every single turn. Gets you most likely gets you two every time you play him. And the Xmon deck does tend to brick sometimes. So Davis is really, really good. I don't know about blue memory boost because I don't want to send my level five ground Germans to the bottom of the deck. I'd be very salty if that happened. To be honest. Because sometimes, like I said, you are missing the green level five or the blue level five, and they're very important the deck so go into the ground german ground german with the inheritable does have evade and then go into examon so examon again at the start of his turn he's gonna hatch but i do force him to swing so he's gonna swing most like with the cl yes cl does die to a break german in the security I don't think it matters. He could have gained the memory once he digivolves up into his level 5. He's going to hard play the reboot. The reboot. The Blanc with decoy. I think he discarded a Jessmon there. And then goes into Chimeramon. Chimeramon will give my guy minus 2k DP until the end of my turn. Thank you, Alfredo, for letting me know because I had forgotten that it's until the end of your opponent's turn. So he's going to put another Bao Huck under. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, the Madoki is not really helping out here. If anything, the Siako would have helped. I don't think it matters. I do think running mostly Madokis as my, my third option for rookies was the correct choice. I think like it was Taste of Victory. He was like putting the V-Mons or whatever. At first, I thought about the V-Mons. The uh, draw one card when you unsuspend, but... Madoki saved my saved my booty so many times. So many, so many times during the tournament. I wish there was a fourth Madoki. And then Digivolve into the Core German. So I am going to activate the effect. He's going to swing with the Huckmon. It does die to Siakoban in security. I do have Blocker. So here again, he's going to use the From Master to Disciple to make it a two cost. Jasmine GX, Jasmine GX. Jasmine X anti body is going to play a Sister Mon from Hand or Trash, playing the CL to gain one memory. And then again, I do have Evade, so if he decides to swing into me, I'll just Evade. He's going to draw. His Huckmons don't really do anything because the Korjaman is 6k. 
does get a few sister mons off that uh that Huckmon inheritable search. He's got a lot of seals. He's gonna hard pay hard play the um the starter deck seal, so it will give his Jessmon reboot. Unsuspend my dude. It looks like he has four security left. He is going really wide. But no blocker seal right now. So go into the Wing German. I'm pretty sure I'm missing the level five or else I would have uh, gone into it. Oh, okay, okay. So I have the Break German and the... So I'm going to suspend the Break German with Slayer German's effect. And then when Break German is suspended, I can suspend his Jessmon X Antibody. Which pretty much, you know, nullifies any potential damage he could uh, inflict right now. Yeah, because my whole thing is like right now, if he goes into Jessmon um, GX, he can, he can do a lot of damage. Swing with the CL. I did block it with the Slayer German. And that's what I like about the Slayer German too. Once you have another Drummond in the uh on the battlefield, you can suspend the other Digimon. That way he can still reactivate because his thing is once per turn he can unsuspend. So if you have another core German or a break German, something like that on the field, you can actually suspend that Digimon to activate Slayer German's effect. So here he can swing with the sister mons, but they will die. I mean, he could he could suicide them if he wants. Gets the Blanc, trashes the rest of the Master to Disciple. And then he's going to go into Jessmon GX. Yeah, see, there you go. I think I do remind him to draw here in a bit. He's going to put the Jessmon X under... I wonder if he's playing the Gankuman. Like, I haven't seen it. Maybe I missed it. But yeah, it will, he will reboot on my turn. And then here, I was a little confused, but I was like, okay, so I can do this, right? Like, I can swing with the Break German. Break German's effect when he becomes suspended. I can suspend one of my opponent's Digimon. So I can just suspend the GX, right? There you go. And then I don't have to worry about the blocker. And then I think I can go, to, go for game here. He has two security by the looks of it. I don't have the X-Mon. If you're wondering, I can see my hand right now. I don't have the X-Mon. I would have gone into X-Mon if I had it in my hand instead of risking the Slayer. Swing at security. Uh, here I decide to swing with the Drachmon just in case Crimson Blaze and then swing with the Slayer German for game. I haven't seen Crimson Blaze, but most Jessmon players do play Crimson Blaze. Anyways, that was round one of my locals. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, are you an Examon fan? Because to be honest, like I said, I wasn't planning on playing the deck. And then all of a sudden I, I ordered all the stuff from TCG player. But I I like the deck. I think Slayer German, to be honest, is one of my favorite Digimon. He's just so, he's so badass. But that's the video, guys. Make sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you have any tips for me. As a new Examon player, this is round one. Round two will be versus a Imperial German, the new Imperial German from EX3. So stay tuned for that one. That one is a long one. It's a it's pretty it's a nail biter too. So again, thank you all for watching. My name is Mr. J, and I will see you all next time.